Subscribe to get contents via mail. Purchase shorthand journals and more. It is an admitted position that, in terms of the agreement arrived at between the parties, the permanent custody of their minor son has remained with the petitioner in consonance with the terms arrived at by and between them voluntarily as afore extracted. On 18 3 2023, the petitioner along with her minor son went to the latter school, Don Bosco School, Alakananda, New Delhi, to attend a parent teacher meeting where it has been asseverated by the petitioner that respondent number two was present much to her surprise. It is stated by the petitioner that respondent number two insisted that he was desirous of spending the day with their biological son and the petitioner acceded to the request in good faith. It is further asseverated on behalf of the petitioner that respondent number two has since then refused to restore their minor son into her care and custody contrary to the express terms entered into between them as above mentioned by way of the arrangement dated 7-8-2020. Having heard the parties who are present before this court in person, there is no manner of doubt that at the time of obtaining a decree of divorce by mutual consent by their own free will and violation, they entered into a legal and binding arrangement in relation to the custody oblig visitation of their minor son. It is further evident that the terms and conditions in relation to the custody oblig visitation of the minor son has been complied with by the parties till 18-3-2023 after which respondent number 2 took away the minor child on a false pretext of spending the day with him. The solitary submission made on behalf of respondent number 2 is that the petitioner is unfit to look after the well-being and welfare of the child and therefore he was constrained to take the latter's custody on the stated day from the latter's school where they had gone to attend the parent-teacher meeting. For the sake of completeness, it is pertinent to record that it is the case of respondent number two that he was entitled to the custody of the child for 10 days from 18-3-2023 in terms of clause 9 of the agreement owing to the circumstance that the school was closed for a vacation upon completion of the school year. Be that as it may, from a plain reading of the foregoing, it is axiomatic that respondent number two currently has custody of the party's minor son, contrary to the express terms entered into between the now divorced couple as elaborated here in above. Full stop. <laughs>